I'd like to start by just saying a huge thank you to Raul. He's been such a huge part of this football club over the last few years. I've been lucky to be a colleague of him uh, and also a friend of him. And I have a huge amount of respect for him. We've been working side by side for the last two years. And one of the reasons I'm so optimistic about the future is the fantastic work that Raul has done, really being a driving force in putting together the team of people that we have across our football operations that are going to help drive this club forward. And it's been an honour and a privilege to work for Arsenal Football Club for over 10 years. Um, and I love this club. And like many people that work at this football club, I spend pretty much every waking minute thinking about how we can improve and how we can achieve our goals and how we can achieve our objectives going forward. I know this role comes with a huge responsibility and I'm fully aware of the weight of responsibility. And I'm also hugely grateful. I'm grateful to Stan Kroenke, Josh Kroenke and the rest of the Arsenal board for their trust in me. But I'm also very clear about what our fans expect and what our fans demand. And I know at the moment we're falling short of our expectations and there's a huge amount of work ahead to get this football club back to where it needs to be. We are fortunate to be followed all around the world by hundreds of millions of passionate fans and we have an extraordinary history of success. Our fans expect and our fans demand that this football club wins trophies and is at the top of the game both here in England but also in Europe. So what fuels me is delivering on the expectations and delivering what in regard to what our fans demand of us. And we started this season full of expectations. We looked forward and we looked upwards. And unfortunately, it's not worked out in the way that we wanted it to. We obviously changed coach in the middle of the season, which obviously was not part of the plan. And then we've had the coronavirus hit us and hit everybody um, this spring. But despite all of the challenges this season has thrown at us, our squad and our players and our football staff kept fighting. They kept fighting all the way to the end. And then we saw on the 1st of August at Wembley, us winning our 14th, a record 14th FA Cup, which was a sign of progress. Uh, and I think we can look forward with some real optimism. I think in Mikel Arteta, we have an absolutely fantastic, dynamic head coach. He forms a formidable team with Edo Gaspar, who's our technical director. And if we look at our academy, I think we're in really, really strong hands with Per Mertesacker. And we have some of the most exciting young talent in the league. Now, we did, of course, though, not achieve our expectations this season. Um, and we need to do better and we need to improve. But I think we're absolutely on a positive trajectory and we're on the right path. The message really is um, we need to improve. And we're really focused on where we need to improve. And there's lots of things that we need to do. You would have seen a couple of weeks ago, this also involves making some difficult decisions. We had to make a difficult decision about proposing redundancies. That decision is about making sure that we have the right structure and the right size of organisation going forward into a very, very different world that we're going to face post coronavirus and make sure we can be as strong as possible on the other side. So there's going to be some tough decisions. We have um, in Edu and Mikel, two individuals who are responsible for our technical plan, of course overseen by me and the board, but those two are the experts. And they have a very, very clear plan around how they want to rebalance our squad in the short term, in the medium term, and also in the long term. And we're starting to work on that immediately in this transfer window. There's other things that we need to do better as well. I think we can do a better job of communicating with our fans. We're not gonna be able to give them a running commentary of everything that we're doing, nor are we always going to correct or be able to correct some of the misinformation there is about the club. But we need to be clear about what we're doing and what our plan is, and we can get better at that. And there's of course lots of other areas that we're gonna be addressing, but it's all about the same thing, trying to make this organisation as efficient as we possibly can and as high performing as we possibly can. Because if we can do that, we give ourselves the best ability to deliver on our objectives. We are impatient. So we know we're not where we want to be and we're impatient because we want to get to where we want to be as quickly as we possibly can. I think the key message uh, for our fans is we all want exactly the same thing. We all want Arsenal Football Club to be back where it belongs, competing for and winning the biggest trophies in the game. That's what fuels us. That's what our focus is. And we ultimately want to do that so our fans all across the world are proud of their football club for what we do and what we can achieve and what we win. 
but also for how we do it, doing it in accordance with the values and the history and the tradition of this great football club. In terms of the board, we work very, very closely. So in regular contact with the owners pretty much every single day. And we're all here to achieve the same thing. And that's to push this football club forward and to get this club back to where it needs to be. And we've been active in the market. And we saw recently that we bought in William from Chelsea, a signing that Edwin Mikel are really, really excited about. And I'm sure our fans are excited about as well. And we'll continue to work hard this transfer window. I think it's going to be a challenging transfer window. Uh, post coronavirus, it's going to be unusual and it's going to be challenging, but we'll continue to work hard to deliver on our objectives to strengthen the squad. And Edu and Mikel have a really clear plan around how they'd like to do that. And our objectives are to be back competing for and winning the biggest trophies in the game. And if you're Arsenal Football Club and you're in the Premier League, there's two trophies that really matter, and that's the Premier League trophy and the Champions League trophy. And that has to be the objectives of a football club like Arsenal. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be straightforward. There's a whole load of competition, but that has to be the objective of this football club. I've been at this football club uh, 10 years, but I feel just as hungry as I did on the first day. I remember the first day that I walked into Highbury House, uh, which is our office, and I thought, wow, I'm part of this amazing football club. And I still feel that 10 years on, and I feel just as hungry and just as driven to push this football club forward. And we have a huge responsibility here. You know, this football club has been here for 135 years. We have got hundreds of millions of fans all across the world that are driven for this club to succeed. They want this football club to succeed and it's in their heart and it's part of their passion. And that's the responsibility to deliver on those expectations. That's what this is all about.